let me start by by thanking, uh, first of all, the um, uh, the other members of the commission, including Eva and Professor Stiglitz here to, with us today, uh, uh, all the civil society organizations that have supported uh, this effort, uh, and, uh, and put it up in a relatively short uh, period of time, uh, which I think is a, is a result with a, a product which I think is excellent and, and readable, <laughs> particularly because it's a, it's a short uh, a statement uh, a, with a lots of contents. Uh, so, uh, and uh, uh, well, thank you to Rosa and Ayati also for being with us uh, today. Uh, and um, and uh, I, I would li like to thank, uh, in particularly uh, Erika Siu, who, who has been uh, the, the real coordinator of this whole uh, effort. So let me just make a very brief introduction uh, of the report. This is uh, uh, members of the, uh, of the commission. They, uh, they really uh, cover the, the whole world, in a, in a sense, uh, developed countries, developing countries, uh, all the continents. Uh, and, uh, and very interestingly, uh, uh, since I have been asked for the, by the press, uh, you know, whether you know, there are not more economists, I think one of the good things about this is that not all of us are economists. Uh, but you know, so other views, uh, um, uh, there are uh, also people here with experience in government uh, in different ways. Uh, you know, two people from you know, have been tax administrators uh, uh, directly, and um, uh, well, in my case, finance minister. Um, so the, um, uh, the, the essence of our declaration is that the, um, uh, that the current system of taxing multinational corporations is broken. Uh, and that the institutions that govern uh, uh, those, uh, uh, the, the way they are paying taxes uh, it must be deeply reformed, uh, both in content and in, uh, in, in, in institutional terms. Uh, uh, and that, that is uh, essential in a, in a world that has become globalized, uh, uh, also in which uh, the major multinational corporations uh, essentially uh, uh, sell uh, 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 things that are not goods. Uh, you know, in the old system, you know, goods uh, could be compared uh, in terms of pricing uh, uh, to other goods in the market. But when you essentially serve, you know, uh, sell uh, services and intellectual property, uh, is, uh, uh, which is very unique in each specific case, uh, the ways uh, you can um, value in the market, you know, through the so-called transfer pricing uh, becomes extremely difficult. Uh, and uh, only uh, uh, very costly uh, investigations by the tax administrations uh, can really uh, uh, try to uh, find out, you know, you know, what is the fair price, let's say, for a specific transaction. Uh, and most transactions take place within firms. And firms locate some of the subsidiaries uh, that receive uh, some of the major payments, for, exa for example, the intellectual property payments, uh, you know, to subsidiaries in, in low tax uh, jurisdiction or even in uh, tax havens, uh, so, which means that you know some of these things don't actually get taxed by uh, by anyone uh, at the end. Uh, this uh, 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 we I mean we have a, a in the very beginning a statement of principles, uh, which I think is uh, worth by itself, and uh, in which uh, we do uh, uh, you know state in very strong terms that this is essential problem of equity. Uh, it's, a, it's an equity uh, between, uh, first of all, between good and bad taxpayers. You know, uh, so the, I think at least the, 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 those of us who actually pay taxes uh, feel correctly outraged uh, by, by uh, those who do not. Uh, uh, but it's also a, a question of equ equity uh, among citizens, among, between capital and labor. There are many, many dimensions in which uh, there are equitable issues. Uh, and, uh, uh, and we also make the point uh, that uh, paying taxes is actually essential corporate social responsibility. Uh, and, and it should be considered as such uh, you know, by corporations. Uh, now corporations do you know, make a lot of noise about corporate social responsibility and there are the OECD and the UN have you know, this corporate social responsibility. We actually recommend that the principle of paying taxes, paying the, the fair taxes is essential corporate social responsibility. Um, 
Now, uh, our basic diagnosis uh, is that the, uh, the major problem uh, is uh, uh, what is called the separate entity principle. Uh, the, you know, the, the view that uh, you know, subsidiaries of multinational corporations are, are different from the multinational corporations, are different uh, firms. Uh, uh, and therefore, uh, we, you know, we state very clearly that it's a legal uh, a fiction. Uh, that in fact, you know, they're really part of the same group and the way they, they do the business and they value the transactions within the corporation uh, is essentially determined by, by, uh, by uh, the, the one of the objectives is to minimize tax payments. And, and therefore that, you know, we have to change that principle uh, and consider uh, the, uh, the whole multinational corporation with subsidiaries as a unique firm. And that that's a way, the only way to, to get a, a fair tax uh, a system. Uh, the, the major initiative uh, in place today is, uh, is the G20, uh, uh, which commissioned the OECD uh, to investigate this, uh, you know, the, uh, or to further, uh, you know, in the, in the ways of controlling uh, uh, the system, which is called Base Erosion and Profit Shifting Initiative. Uh, we consider that to be a step in the right direction. There, it has had a, a positive effects in some ways. Uh, for example, in transparency, pushing principles of transparency that the, that the uh, corporations have to report uh, how much they pay in taxes in each country which they operate. Uh, we think that's a, a very, and also because uh, it, it has raised the debate of how to uh, reduce uh, tax avoidance because uh, Behind uh, the problem are major developed countries uh, that uh, do feel that their corporations are, are not paying a fair share in, in, the, in the taxes. And, and all of them have fiscal issues of some sort or another uh, that they have to correct. Therefore, this is a, a major issue. Uh, we also consider that aside from, the, uh, from the, uh, uh, this basic problem uh, of the, um, uh, uh, of the separate, uh, based on the separate entity principle, uh, is the institutions uh, behind uh, the management of these issues. Uh, uh, even though we consider OECD to be a step in the right direction, uh, it's an institution that uh, is not representative of the international system uh, and, uh, and does not give a, a fair voice uh, to the countries, even if they are invited to, to these discussions. So some emerging and developing countries do participate in these discussions, but essentially they have no vote, to, to, to be clear about that. But there are many, many others uh, which are significantly affected uh, by this problem which have absolutely no voice. They, they are not invited, let's say, even uh, uh, to the OECD. So the, we the fourth thing that, you know, we have to move in the direction of improving also the governance uh, of the international tax system. The, the declaration has uh, is divided in, um, uh, actually in six uh, parts. Uh, I, I'll talk about five, but there's a, a, a six which is the, uh, uh, you know, improving the, the, the current system of tax uh, treaties. Uh, uh, but let me just refer very briefly to some of the issues that uh, I, I think we have uh, 34 uh, very clear recommendations, uh, which I, uh, uh, I think is a very um, concrete set of recommendations. Some are long term, such as the one I'm going to mention first, uh, but also some are shorter term, things that you can actually do uh, much faster. Um, uh, uh, so the, the basic recommendation is that in the long term, uh, we have to uh, tax multinationals uh, 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 as one unique uh, firm. Uh, so the, all the subsidiaries will be consolidated with the, uh, uh, within the, uh, the corporation and the corporation will be taxed. And the, and the tax will be distributed uh, among the countries where the firm, uh, the multinational operates uh, according to so, some of uh, rules uh, uh, you know, what is called the apportionment uh, system, uh, which is actually a system that is already being used by, in, uh, within federal countries. Um, it's used by the U.S. among uh, states, it's used by Canada, it's used by Switzerland. Uh, so, in, so there is also, there is already some experience and, and our idea that, that, you know, we have to move into a system which uh, multinationals are, 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 are taxed globally and then the, uh, the taxes will be distributed according to some objective factors uh, in the countries where they operate. You know, sales, uh, employment, and natural resource uh, rents, let's say, basically, as uh, three essential elements that have to be considered. 
The second point uh, is that, you, uh, and this is a, something that could be done, uh, I mean, the first issue is a long-term negotiation, uh, a difficult one, but the, uh, the, the others, I think, more, you know, most of them can be done in a relatively fast uh, way, is to, uh, to curb tax competition. Uh, and the first thing that we propose here is that it should be a minimum corporate income tax agreed among major developed countries uh, that will put a floor, let's say, in tax competition, will also generate a loss of incentive for uh, emerging and developing countries trying to attract uh, investment uh, through lower taxes to, uh, to abide by you know, that minimum uh, tax. Uh, and that, uh, uh, that the, the, um, uh, cor uh, the countries should uh, you know, try to avoid uh, other forms of tax competition uh, you know, through you know, different forms of preferences for uh, multinational corporations and actually inform publicly uh, to the international community what are the benefits that they are giving uh, so that there is transparency also in, the, uh, in that regard and they can be pushed by civil society and other sectors to, uh, to try to control those uh, uh, benefits which uh, the basis of the tax avoidance uh, also, by the way, uh, very importantly, uh, there is a specific recommendation uh, that states should stop supporting the, their own multinationals when they are involved in, uh, in tax problems uh, abroad, which is a, a very common practice uh, of, uh, of major countries, that they get in supporting the, uh, their own firms when they go abroad uh, and they run into problems with a uh, tax authority in a, in a foreign country. Uh, the third is that we, the enforcement should be strengthened. Um, uh, since this is a very complicated uh, issue, for, uh, particularly for emerging and developing countries, you know, uh, uh, you know, creating a strong uh, uh, tax administration uh, with effective powers uh, to intervene and no political interference uh, in their decisions uh, is, uh, is essential for, for a, a fair tax system to, uh, to work. Um, and, uh, and therefore, for you know, the legal protection of the tax authorities when they intervene uh, in, um, uh, in, in, uh, uh, to support the, the, you know, the uh, collection of taxes. Uh, uh, the fourth is, is transparency, which is, uh, as I said, something that the, the current OECD process is uh, contributing. Uh, so we, we say that there should be a country by country reporting. Uh, of uh, you know uh, what are the sales taxes paid etc. And major data uh, by by all multinational corporations. By the way, uh, both public and private, because there are many uh, a growing share of also public uh, sector multinationals, including the, the Chinese ones. Uh, so that the uh, but not only the Chinese one. I mean, my own country we have uh, public sector firms that invest abroad. Uh, so they should, you know, inform publicly, you know, what is the, uh, uh, you know, the sales, uh, profits, and investment that they are reporting in each country where they operate, and that that, that information should be ma made freely available to other countries, uh, so you don't require a special treaty um, uh, to share that information, uh, and very importantly, also that 30 days after its uh, uh, file, uh, it should be. Uh, uh, public uh, uh, so that uh, all civil society can uh, and all parliaments can be, uh, be conscious of uh, the sort of benefits that are, and, uh, and how much countries are, uh, excuse me, corporations are paying. Um, uh, well, there's also, I get, uh, an issue on, on tax, treat, uh, tax treaties in which uh, we do also make very specific recommendations, uh, uh, for example, uh, on withholding taxes. Uh, tax treaties uh, sometimes uh, forbid uh, uh, withholding taxes uh, for payments uh, between, uh, you know, subsidiaries of, of individual corporations. We said that they should be, uh, you know, uh, a, 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 I mean, those should not be included, for example, in any of the tax treaties. Uh, and finally, we have these recommendations, uh, uh, which is uh, on improving the, uh, the governance uh, uh, of the international tax system. Uh, and um, in that regard, uh, you know, despite the advances made by OECD, uh, uh, you know, uh, the international community should move uh, into a process that are undertaken under the United Nations, which is the, uh, uh, the most representative global institution. Uh, so the, first of all, to upgrade the status of the uh, Committee of Experts on Tax Cooperation to an intergovernmental organ, uh, where therefore the tax administration sit together 
uh, to talk among themselves and to negotiate eventual uh, uh, you know, processes, and that the UN uh, uh, should, uh, or the, or should the, or the countries in the UN should start drafting a UN convention uh, on, uh, on how to stop uh, uh, tax, uh, uh, tax abuses uh, by corporations, uh, and eventually uh, uh, that should be the beginning of a process to introduce our long-term proposal, uh, which is to tax uh, multinational corporations as a unique uh, firm. Okay, thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.